Hi, the purpose of this video is to talk about how um, Bayes' theorem, which is a conditional probabilities um, algorithm, uh, can be avoided as if you construct a conditional probabilities table. So um, on this particular problem, we have uh, two airlines, uh, UN Air and IS Air, and um, there's 70 flights for UN and 65 flights daily for IS. So we also know that 18% of the uh, UN passengers lose their luggage, and 23%, or almost one in four of the others, um, have to, uh, are going to lose their luggage as well. So, anyway, we could take that information and construct a conditional probabilities table as follows. We have people who fly US Air, people who fly IS Air, people who lose their luggage, and people who don't lose their luggage. We arrange it in a table as shown. Then, all we have to do is multiply 70 by the percentage of people who will keep their luggage. That's 82%. That's 100 minus 18. And then we have 70 times 18%, giving us 12.6 of those 70 passengers on average will lose their luggage. For a grand total of 70 passengers, using the same calculations with a 23% lost luggage rate, we can calculate 50 approximately of the 65 customers on IS Air will keep their luggage and about 15 will lose their luggage. So if we add them up, we get the 70 and 65 passengers, but we can also add horizontally and uh, that shows, the horizontal addition uh, shows us that we could take the 57.4 who kept their luggage on one airline and the 50 who kept their luggage on the other, making a total of 107.45 um, keeping their luggage and 27.55 losing their luggage for a grand total of 135 passengers. If you did this right, you can add left and down. It'll be the same either, either way. So the beauty part is we have a whole bunch of conditional probabilities laid out here. Uh, the probability of um, whichever airline and the probability of losing their luggage are combined together in the center of the grid. And in the outside, we have the probability of flying... Um, <clears throat> U.S. Air or U.N. Air and uh, probability of flying I.S. Air and that's 65 out of 135. We have 70 out of 135. Uh, but then we could also find conditional probabilities and that's shown here. So in this case, uh, given that somebody lost their luggage, what's the probability that they uh, flew I.S. Air? And uh, that's the standard conditional probability algorithm. And instead of going to Bayes' theorem, I'm going to simply extract the 14. Oops, <laughs> what just happened there? Uh, the 14, where did the 14.95 uh, come from here? 14.95% of IS Air customers who lost their luggage. Or it's not percent, it's 14.95 out of 135 lost their luggage. And then... 27.55 lost their luggage total. So basically it's lost their luggage and went on IS Air uh, out of the total people who lost their luggage altogether out of 135. So that just simplifies and we end up with a 54.3% approximate uh, chance that somebody who lost their luggage flew with IS Air. So here's another example. If you pause the screen you could read about um, you know how do we uh, test um, certain um, uh, blood samples to determine whether or not someone has cancer, we could actually uh, test the quality and reliability of those studies using uh, these kinds of tables. And so, um, what I would like to point out here is that all of, let's see, all of this stuff here um, is Bayes' theorem. And this is going to be in a formula packet when you take a test, but the point is to have to go through all of this, it's like, like walking through um, a long hallway when you're blind. Uh, with the table, we can see more clearly why we're doing what we're doing in Bayes' theorem. So if you pause the screen and study this, you can actually see the connection between this fancy algorithm and a neat little trick to get around that algorithm. So hope this is helpful. Have a great day.